Yo, what's up guys? Smithy here, bringing you Moab with every gun. Episode 12, is it? He's in the P90 submachine gun. Uh, P90 submachine gun is going to be probably the third best submachine gun in the game. Coming right after the PP90 and the MP7, obviously. Uh, the P90, I'd say, is a, is a good mix between the uh, PP90 and the MP7. Uh, as far as rate of fire goes, it's not as high as the P, P uh, the PP90, but it's higher than the MP7, I think. And as far as uh, recoil goes, it's much lower than the uh, PP90, but it's a lot higher than the MP7. So I feel that it's a good mix between the two weapons. If you're on a mid-range map, I'd say that's probably the best place to use it. Not so much on lockdown because it's very close quarters. A PP90 would probably be a better choice. But I was going for a Moab with this, so this is not I ended up getting it on. So right here, I forgot what class I'm using. Uh, probably Extreme Conditioning, Assassin, and something else. Uh, probably Steady Aim. Uh, when using this gun, I would definitely suggest using it with either Rapid Fire Extended Mags, Rapid Fire Silencer, or Silencer Extended Mags any one of the three uh, anything else other than that is just kind of weird the p90 and you would obviously want to I hip fire it most of the time it's very good hip fired because you have such a large clip it makes it very uh, sprayable especially in close quarters maps which is pretty much only saving grace on these maps that are pretty close range and thank god that javelin I don't know how that javelin didn't kill me it looked like it was right next to my face but anyways this gun is really good uh, I like it a lot. I mean, I got it. I like to use it most of the time. Uh, it's not as good as the other submachine guns, but it definitely has its place in the game. Unlike the MP5 and the PM9. But anyways, as you can see, just tearing through these guys. Pull out the AK-47 with the noob tubes. Uh, M uh, not MP7. What am I talking about? I'm sorry. Uh, kind of trying to having some trouble finding the correct words to use but anyways p90 I would highly suggest using it it's a very good gun uh, you won't have too much trouble getting it gold I sometimes this gun seems like it's a little weak but it's pretty easy to get around just make sure you stay close quarters with it and you should be just fine pull out the noob tubes here get a little nice little double kill I don't know how you got a double kill with that but whatever I'll take it I'm not complaining so anyways, uh, I don't know, what, what are you doing in the window? People these days, I'm trying to find the most weird ass camping spots. Oh, new tubes again, I think I get a hit marker. No, I got a kill, alright. Uh, going pro with these new tubes today, but anyways, P90, definitely good, definitely worth using I'd say. Uh, it's just a really versatile, I'd say it's the most versatile submachine gun in the game. You can go, well actually no, the MP7 is the most versatile, this gun's the second most versatile. MP7 is like basically an assault rifle I'd say, it deserves to be in the assault rifle position. But And the P90 I'd say is uh, the best submachine gun you can get if the MP7 wasn't there. Uh, I mean pretty much this gun is good medium range, close range, you can pull off a few long range kills but it's not the best. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just really versatile. Yeah, I would not suggest using it with a red dot. And there's the mob right there. So, anyways, that was Moab with Every Gun, episode 12 of the P90. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.